Welcome everyone to our live with Chef Aisha Kolachi for Metro's amazing first ever cooking live with me, their ambassador Heidi Small, and we're bringing a chef in and we're about to do some incredible cooking with beautiful seasonal ingredients from Metro. Hi, John Relahan, <laughs> our first celebrity chef joining all the way from Dublin. So, cool. yeah, how do you like that? So we're going to try to do our best to get as much of that beautiful chef and barbecue in camera. Cool. So I'm going to start now. So uh, should we talk about what we're making? Yes. Cool. So um, we went shopping earlier at Metro on Sherbrooke, and it was pretty awesome. So I was thinking something veg heavy because it's summer, something light. So we're going to do two different things that are simple and just going to be like, you know, a flavor bomb, basically, which is typically like how, how I like to cook. So we're going to do a crudo, um, a steelhead crudo, lightly cured, with just a cucumber, caper, pistachio salsa, something really simple and light, and the charred lemon vinaigrette that's really going to complement, bring everything together. Um, and then we're going to do like, almost like a, not a panzanella salad, but like a sour, grilled sourdough, ripe tomato, sherry vinaigrette situation that's going to be really, um, again, full of flavor and complement the crudo really nicely. So that's what we're going to make today. So Woo! we're here in front of the grill right now. We're going to be doing, we're gonna, all we need it for actually is um, to char the lemons and grill the bread. That's it. So I'm going to start all right. that now. We're just cruising around here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ireland. Did I say Dublin, Ireland? It's kind of the same. <laughs> Sounds amazing. All right. Can you see what's going on? So this is yes. really easy. All we're doing, and again, this whole entire dish is going to be, like, it's just simple and easy and quick, so anyone can replicate it if they want to. Okay. Well, so I, I love standing in front of a barbecue, mm -hmm. actually. It feels really nice. <laughs> I'm also going to char these tomatoes. Um, I was going to roast them, but since the fire is here now and all we really need uh, the fire for is these things, so we're just going to, like, you know, just them. Okay. And that's going to go actually on the um, tomato salad because it'll just have a different, like, uh, more intense tomato flavor on the salad. It's not the around textures. So, what has life been like post Top Chef Canada? Cool, uh, busy. Um, I'm still focusing on like my classes and um, caters. I've taken a little bit of a backseat because restaurants are reopening, which is great. Um, yeah, so I'm doing that and um, some recipe development as well. But fun, great, you know. Life cooking in the fast lane. Yeah. Oh, should I go run in? Absolutely. Hi, Ruby. Hey, <laughs> I want to make sure you're in camera. Actually, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go run in to check them. Oh, you and run. And it's not even ready yet. Okay. Cool. So, should we go into the kitchen? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. This is a very live, dynamic. All right. So. Okay. Pistachios um, are lightly uh, toasted, so the oils come out, and it's gonna be even tastier. And in the meanwhile, actually, we're going to turn off this pot, okay, which has the green beans that are just steaming lightly. Lovely. So I'm going to do. Oh, it got one. really dark. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a little light action. There we go. Whoa! So, and yeah, and while um, the grill is going, which is it's not too strong, we have a couple of minutes before we can go check it. Okay. Um, what I want to do is talk about the steelhead. Okay. Um, the fish. Let's hold that up to the camera. Yeah. So, so, so basically, what it's steel, it's steelhead, BC, um, trout, and all we're gonna do is I took the skin off, and what I want to do now is lightly cure it. So, curing it. Um, the reason why I want to cure it, I don't have to, but I I really love curing fish when I'm doing crudos because it kind of uh, makes it a little tighter. Uh, it adds a little more flavor as well, and my curing mix which I did earlier today, and I didn't add any seasoning to it because I want it to be clean, is two parts kosher salt and one part sugar. And typically, I'm not gonna wait because I, I know the, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna eyeball it, but typically it's around 45 grams per kilo of mix. So that's gonna be around a little less than 45. So I'm gonna just do this, and I'm gonna spread it with my hands after, I'll chill on the top, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge for half an hour. And then we're gonna rinse it off. This is pretty much like me, like making um, a gravlax. If you leave it on longer, it will become a gravlax. So all I'm doing is this. 
Mm, and so yeah massage. exactly so basically the water kind of comes out because salt draws out water and um and uh it creates like a different texture on the fish a texture that um i really love so yeah that's what we're doing that we're gonna put this in the fridge i might can i ask you to put this in the fridge yes you talk to the camera and say what's next Perfect. and i'll make room all right so uh sorry guys so the fish is cured the green beans are steamed um, I'm gonna go back to the grill now and check on the bread, the um, lemons, the charred lemons, and the blistered tomatoes. So we're gonna do that. Um, so Heidi, I'm gonna go there. Okay. And remove things. I'm gonna bring everything out with you. Perfect. Hold on. This is. Okay, I'm gonna go. It's a lot of. I need to that. Woo! <laughs> nice. Okay. So I'm making you run around a little bit. It's okay. I love it. Okay. So I'm just gonna see. So. The reason why I want to actually char the lemons as well is because it just creates a really nice, intense, sweet flavor with the lemon and becomes almost pulpy. Like, it just brings out all the sugars and it creates an amazing, um, a layered vinaigrette. So I really like doing this. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily looking for it to be too black. I just want it to be nice and like juicy and hot, almost like the juice is kind of bubbling inside. So, And even for the tomatoes, all I want is not them to be fully cooked, just kind of blistered. So we're not there yet. The bread either we're not there yet. Okay. So actually, we're going to close this for now. Okay. So some of the heat. A couple more minutes. Hi, Ella. So we're going to return in the kitchen now. Okay. Well, it's a little more of, a, of an active life. She's making me work. <laughs> making me work, baby. Cool. Okay, so let's I put guess... this back up. Okay. Hold on. This is, this is the real deal. This is behind the scenes. Yeah. So, okay. Calm. I'm gonna go. I just ran. That's okay. I'm gonna turn on Woo! a little cooking light action. Are you scared, Princess Leia? You scared Princess Leia? <laughs> so this is very, very exciting, and I'm gonna say again why. Because every month I'm going to bring a chef into my metro, my beautiful grocery store, and chef can attest. Did everybody come and say hi to us, chef? Yes, uh, everyone did, and everyone was really nice. It was really uh, like a really pleasant. <laughs> little adventure that we had together so it was fun i mean you walk into that metro and did you feel like you were a princess in a big castle filled with all the things that you love yeah definitely actually and i had never been to to that metro and it was uh it was definitely very impressive it really was we had a little field day yeah okay. it was really fun. so what's next all right so the beans are steamed and i wanted them steamed not raw because i wanted them to be a tad softer and this is going to actually be part of the salad as well so they're steamed they're not they're just like Nicely, little al dente. I'm gonna not. I don't want to shock them or anything. I'm just okay. gonna leave them on the side. Okay. And I like. I really love working with textures, and this salad is gonna be like you know, uh, chewy, crunchy, just full of flavors and full of tech. Um, sorry, a texture and flavors. So we're gonna make our salsa for the crudo. So we're going all over the place with both dishes. Okay. But in order for us to, um, actually, you know successfully make this in an hour we're gonna have to like multitask so that's, that's what okay. we're gonna do that's what we women know to do so well yeah um can i ask you for another bowl yes um, a little yeah, tiny bowl a little larger than this if you have larger cool. than that yeah yes perfect so yeah so How's thank that? you perfect okay so i'm just doing all the prep that i can think okay, of okay but i know that everybody loves to see a chef prep so i'm just yes. going to tilt down so that they get to see your gorgeous handiwork thank you and i'm using your gorgeous knife oh thank you Le Moulin. yes yes yeah, so i've lost a half of a finger but <laughs> i think it's a rite of passage yeah would you not say oh absolutely i mean i've i haven't lost i didn't almost lose fingers but i definitely have cut myself over the years that's for sure so what is your favorite seasonal ingredient throughout the summer give me your favorite one for june july and august seasonal okay um uh, right now i would say um i love gar i love garlic scapes we didn't get some but i love garlic scapes i love radishes cucumbers beans anything that's like, peas not peas even um that's really what i like using a lot of in june that's really what's in season a, a lot some of the uh, ingredients that are in season right now uh, and in July, um, you know, and again, tomatoes are like, this is the beginning of tomato season, so which is amazing. So tomatoes throughout those, those three months. And, you know, um, I would say in August, like everything. Because <laughs> it's funny because when you're working in a restaurant, um, you know, we, we wait for all these, you know, all these months and you have amazing products 
in the summer months in August specifically. So you have like, especially like when I was working at Impasto, we were I was we were right beside the Chateau Market, Market, and there was just everything. It was just like tomato, eggplant, zucchini. Uh, there was just too much available. So there was so many. It was really fun to play around, play around. So um, July, August, are, like my favorite summer months for sure for produce. And if we had to kind of find a silver lining mm -hmm. to this pandemic, what's yes. nice is that the reopening happened right yeah. at almost the rebirth, if you will, That's of, true. of the bounty, Earth's offerings, what you get to go and yeah. to harvest. It, it was like that beautiful timing Absolutely. for That's chefs. I didn't, I didn't think of that, but it's true. Could you imagine? We're reopening December. Get excited. Exactly. So it's just a lot of root veg. I mean, we can do a lot of things, but it's def it'll definitely get repetitive. Yeah, it's true. I didn't think of that way, but yeah. So now I'm just cutting some um, red onion for crunch, color, and sweetness in the salsa. So I'm, it doesn't have to be fancy. Good well, it's, that off. it's me. I'm so happy to be eating your delicious food. That's kind of why I'm doing this. It's not really for Metro. <laughs> it's so that I get to have a chef in my house and then cook for me. Yeah. It's all part of my big, big, <laughs> the big master plan. The big master plan. Yes. So tell me, chef, what yes. are you doing? I know that you are. Oh wait, that sounds great. Love tomatoes and radishes. Ireland still locked down. Oh, chef. Oh, wow. I told you, chef. Come to Montreal. <laughs> we'll take care of you. I told you. Just saying. Um, I was just gonna ask you. Yes, you are doing classes. Tell yes. me a little bit about that. So, um, you know, I started out um, a year and a half ago, probably doing my pasta workshops. Um, like that's something that I really wanted to focus on. And I did two, I, I ended up doing two workshops of around 10 classes and they were great. They were successful. I, I was getting, you know, like people seem to really enjoy them. I loved teaching them. And then I decided to like kind of venture, venture in different, you know, different, uh, you know, other uh, ele um, different types of classes that I really wanted to enjoy, not just pasta, you know. And so, um, yeah, so I've been doing that probably around um, twice a week. Um, I teach them either on my Zoom from my home or through Sometimes Chef's Feed, which is an um, online, which is a, um, a website online that um, it's kind of like a third party, just helps out with, um, you know, meeting different people. And it's a really actually great site because, I mean, it's not just, you know, locally based. You get to like, I, I, I've met so many different students, you know, across North America. So it's really fun. So I'm going to go check on the grill. Okay. And make sure nothing is burnt. Okay, I'll just stand here and uh, entertain you all. Yes, chef, you could be my personal chef. The door is open. In fact, this door is almost never locked. I shouldn't even say that out loud. I await your visit. And I think chef Derek Damon will also be super jealous when you fly in and you're just staying with me. Because I think we might be fighting over you even. So, um... What else is out there? Who else is watching? I believe my nieces are watching. I am very excited for this chef to be in my home. I scrubbed it down like how you guys do at the end of service in your kitchen. I scrubbed everything down for her to make sure that we were super, super careful. We're keeping our nice distance. We had so much fun at Metro and now Chef is bringing in everything from the grill and I'm <laughs> so, gonna get out of her way. Yes, everything's perfect. All I did, all it's, I'm gonna show you guys, all that's here is the charred tomatoes, the really juicy lemons. Ooh, yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. And um, the bread that I wanted to toast up so all that amazing vinaigrette can be absorbed when we, you know, when we make the salad. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's that. So now we just have to continue making the salsa. Okay. So I'm just cutting, I'm gonna continue to cut some onion for the salsa. Okay. And I wanted to make, you know, a really simple, just like, you know, flavor bomb kind of, like I said earlier, um, you know, a punch and, you know, a nice little punch in your mouth. So I wanna play on texture as well. So pistachio for crunch, and also, um, you know, the, everything actually is crunchy. So there's the red onion, the cucumber, the pistachio. They all offer crunch, but they offer different flavors, which are going to be really uh, delicious. And um, I kind of realized I'm kind of going almost like um, a bagel with, <laughs> with like, um, some, what's it called? With um, like a typical bagel with a... Uh, bagel lox and cream cheese? Yes. Thank you for completing my sentence. Yes. But uh, it's a really great combo and you can, you know, you can create it different ways, so... I love watching chefs cut, doing. I have to tell you. It's it's a passion of mine, watching chefs cut. <laughs> I could watch it all day. 
You know those um, Calm apps? Yes. I would just like to watch and see app on cutting. Like ASMR? ASMR just chefs, apps. chefs doing non-stop chopping would make me so happy. <laughs> I'm going to use the entire cucumber. I'm not going to be picky. I don't want like, to waste a lot. So okay. I'm just Do you want me to put away. the pistachios in the oven? They are there. They've already been toasted. Oh! Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> All about efficiency. I love it. The only thing better than one woman in the kitchen is two. two. <laughs> okay. So we're almost done this. What's your best mm -hmm. tip that you've ever received from a chef? Um, oh my God. That I would probably, that um, I could layer properly, that I'm good with flavors, that I can make, you know, tasty food. That was actually one of the pros on Top Chef. I remember um, the judges at one point saying um, that so far my flavor game was on point. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I just, you know, like it's something that I love doing. It's not about complexity for me. It's about technique, but it's also about um, just making sure everything tastes really good and it's just really, you know, if you're using the ingredient fully and everything just, you know, pops. That's what's to me more important than anything else. So, yeah. well, well said. Thanks. I'm gonna put everything here. I'm gonna put this in our bowl. Okay. So salsa, salsa capers. So actually, we're, we bought a couple of things when we, at Metro. We bought a couple of the Metro brands that uh, ingredient elements as well, right? So the selection brand and um, Irresistible as well. Is that just the? I'm thinking maybe they're actually different Metro yes. brands. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't sure. So I'll take some of the water out of this. And actually, take all that. And we're gonna put just a few capers. And we're not gonna chop them, I want them whole because a nice little briny acidic punch. That's enough. There. Right, hands. Alright. Salsa, salsa. So now we want the pistachios. So I'm just gonna put like a nice little handful of the roasted pistachios. Um, I guess, like I said earlier, I like roasting pistachios because, you know, any nuts, it just brings out the oils which means more flavor, and it's all about layered flavor. And I'm just gonna roughly chop these, because they're quite large. Beautiful, I didn't even know that I could do that with nuts. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. It just really brings out flavor, like, so much more. Oh, I can't breathe. Uh, Okay, and now we're just gonna make the vinaigrette for it. Actually, and we're gonna put it, we're gonna make it directly in here. It's all about efficiency and like not making not making you uh, not making us clean too too much afterward. Yeah, Chef Jonathan uh, Chung, if you're listening, I end up in the kitchen afterwards. <laughs> I end up cleaning for an hour after those cooking lives. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah, the way it works. So I'm gonna use some olive oil, some good olive oil. And I'm gonna eyeball it. It's really a salsa, so eyeball it. It's really Beautiful. nice. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a little bit of honey, just a smidge. Okay, honey. Add a little bit of sweetness. And I'm gonna add ah. the lemon. So I'm just putting my hands for the seeds. Love it. And I'm gonna probably put two, I'd say. That's also an amazing trick. Yeah. No, just my hands. No one wants seeds in their vinaigrettes. I'm used to it. I'm, I'm not as nice as you are with my kids. They're like, oh, there's so many pits. I'm like, yep, that's, that's so life. Funny. Yeah, that's, that's very funny. Uh, not this spoon, but honey's another spoon. See, Chef already knows her way around my yes, kitchen. I, do. I love it. I haven't added salt yet. It's always the last thing I'm going to add because, you know, I want to be, I don't want to have to start over and you know it's always better to add a little bit of a timer at the end so you don't make mistakes you can never take away salt and capers are salty so gotta taste first like barely any salt we need Ooh, so it's perfection you can say <laughs> almost it. you can say not yet <laughs> so nicely briny i'll say maybe a little more honey and we're good to go. Okay. Oh, and yeah, and the chives, that's what I want to add. Ah. To make everything pop. Okay. So, uh, get our beautiful chives here that we got as well. 
Metro has everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I'd like to say that you picked that from my garden, but, <laughs> but who are we kidding? Why, why plant a garden when you have Metro in your backyard? <laughs> there you go. And it's so close to your house as well. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just do a little chopping. See, that sound, everything about it is just beautiful. Well, it also helps when you have a great knife. True that, sister. <laughs> I become very spoiled between Metro and <laughs> knives and chefs. Whew. Yeah. We're lucky girls. Yes, definitely. It's almost there. Okay. Chaz will screw well with all these elements, so we're going to put a lot of them. Okay. Have you gone to Impasto and sat down like the beautiful guest that you deserve to be and be <laughs> served? I haven't yet, actually. <gasps> Maybe I, I, I would love to. I would love to see everybody. That'd be really nice. I could be your dinner date if you want. That's a good idea. Okay. That's a really good idea, okay. actually. Okay, done. Cool. All right, so let's put all those chives in there. I'm sure rinse my knife. Okay, how am I there doing? You Do you need anything from me other than nope. sous chefing? Not yet. Actually, I'm really camera woman. <laughs> So this is done. Ready to go. I made too much, but we, we have a lot of salmon, so good. Um salmon of steelhead trout, so good. It will nothing will go to waste. Okay, so that's there. So we're gonna use um now we're gonna actually make the vinaigrette for the, the tomato salad and then we're gonna start assembling, cutting and assembling uh, the dishes. Beautiful. Okay. So other vinaigrette, we need a mixing bowl, which is right here. Yes. Use this one. And I'm gonna start with olive oil. And there's a little trick to this vinaigrette that I use in a lot of my vinaigrettes. Um, generous amount of olive oil. Okay. And we're gonna use sherry vinegar, that's what we got. That's a gorgeous brand yeah. also available. Yeah, see. At Metro. At Metro. I love sherry vinegar so much. I use it in a lot of my, my either really good red wine vinegar or it's just that guy, I didn't see that part. I was gonna be trying to pour for a long oh, time. Oh, uh, that's my fault. <laughs> it's okay. Wait, or am I wrong? Oh, I'm wrong. Or okay. I could stab it. No, it's good. Oh, yeah. Thank God we didn't try that. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a potential... Another finger loss. There you go. So now I'm just putting some... Again, eyeballing it. Typically, the ratio for vinaigrettes is three to one. I like putting a little more vinaigrette, uh, vinegar than that. Um, that's, that's me. But... Um, well, I like yeah. it tangy and punchy, exactly. so you're speaking my language. Good. That, that, and so I, here on this plate that we have, our grilled plate, you know, our grilled elements, I uh, have some tomatoes. So I'm going to put a tomato in here and that's going to create an amazing, because tomato is, you know, a very umami uh, ingredient and it's going to just like bring that vinaigrette so much flavor. Oh, so you smush it in there? Exactly. Oh, that's a great trick. Yeah. I, I use this, I do this for, you know, like. And, this, and they don't even have to be roasted just because I just figured we have a lot of them. And oh, that's a killer you trick. Know? Yeah, and I, I've made so many vinaigrettes this way. It just really helps a lot. And it doesn't matter if there's actually pieces of vinaigrette in it. It's really, or a tomato in it. I mean, it's a tomato-ish salad, so it doesn't matter. Good. And now it's time to taste and then salt. All right. Actually, uh, tomato is my secret ingredient in my Jewish chicken soup. Oh, really? Yeah. Very cool. I guess for that balance, eh? Yes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Honey, I use honey as a sweetener often. Um, I just think it's uh, you know it's a it's already like kind of um, it's just a really nice sugar to use, and it's not like pro it's less processed anyways. So and it adds that balance. Little music to go with our. <laughs> <laughs> Let's taste again. Another tomato. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm fired <laughs> from my camera woman <laughs> position. All right, so we're just doing that. It's best that nobody sees me. It's it's all you, Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And I would typically put some garlic in here as well, but I won't. Only because I'm going to be brushing 
some garlic right now onto the bread. It's enough. It's it's gonna be enough because it's gonna be intense since it's not cooked. So. And she knows I have an aversion to raw garlic. <laughs> that as well. I'm a, I'm a definitely a big garlic person, and if we had more time, I would have probably done roasted garlic because it's a little less intense. Um, but we can still in incorporate it um, in a way that is gonna benefit the dish. So I'm just peeling that clove, and I'm gonna brush it on the bread. Beautiful. I have to say a little shout out to my cameraman, documentary filmmaker Ezra Soiferman, because I forgot, well that's not true, how could I forget when I've never done it? It's very hard work holding up a camera. Mm -hmm. I have to say, it's, it's tough out there. <laughs> oh, that's a great trick. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really common when it comes to a lot of crostinis and it just adds that other, that layer and it's all about layering. Do you remember, or, or are you too young, Le Ma des Oliviers? Old school downtown restaurant. They've since closed, but the first time I ever had a crostini such as the one that you're creating mm -hmm. with the garlic is from them. Oh, really? Yes, Very they used cool. to do that on top of their soup. Yeah, it adds a really amazing depth. Um, I feel like I am... Do I want to put lemon in here? No, I'm not sure yet. Hi, Michael. Hi, George. I'm trying to see and hold and do everything at the same time, but I see you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I see you. And I forgot that in the, in the salsa, um, I wanted to add some white balsamic as well for a little bit of a sweet acidity. It just balances the dish. I mean, I love white balsamic in salsas. Beautiful. So let me I don't know if anybody one. is getting to see that. Push mm. it. There we go. Mmm. Really good. Okay. Just really good. some for me. I will. Okay. Maybe. All right. All right. Can I? So, um, yeah, we're almost uh, at the assembly assembly time. Okay, because all I want to do is put this down. Okay. Oh, one yeah. Second. Hold on. Oh. It's all good. Okay. So now, lift. Actually, if you're plating, I'm gonna want everybody to see. Cause yeah, I'm not plating right this second. We're okay. gonna be cutting the salmon first. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna be rinsing the salmon, and then we're gonna be plating after that. Yes. Perfect. Should I follow you outside? Uh, no, staying here. Okay. Staying here. I'm just going to cut the green onion to have everything ready to go when we plate. Otherwise, it's okay. it'll be a little chaotic. So okay. I to... So I want to show your handiwork. Mm -hmm. okay. Being cutting board. You're being too kind. I never do stuff like this neat. I just feel, I feel for me, it's like, it's, you know, it's, know. it's part it's, of your training. Yeah, and if it's too like, chaotic, I hear you know, it. around you, it just doesn't work as clearly. I think that's beautiful and poetic. <laughs> it's like having a clean canvas before you think about how you're going to paint. Yeah, true. Very, very true. So I'm just chopping these finely, and they're going to go as a nice crunch on the tomato salad. I think green onion and tomato, are, or scallions and green tomato, and, and tomatoes are just a really nice match. And they're both in season right now, so. Okay. If you, what's, what's that term? What grows together or, you know, goes together? It doesn't necessarily grow together, but I mean, it's growing together at the same time of month, so oh, there you go. So if you could do a guest chef stage anywhere, mm -hmm. where would you want it? Where would you go? Oh, wow, what a question. Um, two, two actually, uh, one local. Yes, I'd love a local yeah. and then uh, anywhere local? in the world. I don't know about the anywhere in the world yet, but the local would definitely be Fizun. Fizun Erkan, she's has Bico Farms in Saint Jean. Uh, I really respect her as a chef so so much. Even what she's doing, there's not a lot of farm to table restaurants. I, I don't I don't think there's any. I mean, or there's very a very small amount in Quebec, and she's doing something really special. And uh, it's very courageous. I just I love her aura a lot. So definitely her uh, at her place. And internationally, I gotta think about it. I'm not sure internationally. Um, because anybody who says anything next to me, it happens. I'm like, a, I'm like, rub, rub the Buddha. So be careful what you ask for. Um, I think maybe it would have been New York City. New York City. I don't think she she doesn't have her restaurant anymore. It would have been Gabrielle Hamilton mm -hmm. Prune. Prune. I knew I, you were gonna say. Yeah, that. I've been there. I've been there many times. Well, at least three times. And um, it's just it, like her style of food is intelligent and just tasty and just like comforting I so love that. definitely that and also what she was able to maintain like a restaurant for you know like i think it was like two decades mm -hmm. successfully in new york city like that's a, a huge feat so yeah she lots of respect for her that's beautiful yeah 
All right, salmon okay. time, and then we plate. Okay. So I can go to the fridge and get it. Okay. Oh. Okay. I love it. She's walking around. I don't have to do anything. When she takes out the salmon, I'm actually pouring her an eye glass of wine. <laughs> One second. Right. So I just want to show you actually this. You can see. Um, I'll show Ooh. you here. You show yeah. them while I pour. So as you guys see, it's been in there for around 20 minutes. I said 25 minutes, and like the sugar and salt is melted, which is great. And it's slowly starting to. Uh, it's melted, but it also means that it's extracting the um, moisture from the fish, which is what, which is what I want. Um, again, and if you guys, if you weren't here when I actually originally said this, the reason why I want to like do a very very quick light cure is because I really like the flavor, and you can um, I like the flavor and I love the texture of how the fish becomes. Um, you could also, and this is all this is, is kosher salt and some, a little bit of sugar, so two thirds salt, one third sugar, and you can also add um, any type of. <laughs> Thank you. You can also add um, some awesome flavorings, whatever you want, whether it be spicy or any flavor, any spice you want, to the cure to flavor the fish. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get some water on here, to rinse it off. And Heidi, I'm gonna ask you if you have some Scott towel, which is right oh, in yes. front of me. Well done, of course. I just thought it's right in front of me, actually. Okay. Uh, at least I could do something. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, a little paper towel from Metro as well. <laughs> All right, so I just rinsed it. So do you want me to pat it dry? That would be great. Uh, be on both great. sides? Uh, yes, that would be awesome. So now we're just patting it dry so I can get it ready to cut. We're going to taste it first. As, all, as usual, always taste before, and then we're going to cut it and plate. Oh, nice. Yeah. Woo! Okay. This is ready as best. Okay. Where can I? Uh, right here. The uh, the oh, it's not really so it's fine. Okay, we leave this here for now. This is actually right here. Oh, it's perfect. So good. Okay, so we're we're not gonna cut both. We're just gonna cut one. Okay, beautiful. beautiful. We're gonna do the one under. Okay. Yeah, because I like the shape of it a little more. Lovely. Um, actually, we should use the other one, right? This one here. Oh, you can do it on this if you want, and I will wash yeah. it and give you a new one. Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, actually, we don't really need to cut much more on it, so let's go. It's all good. Perfect. So we're going to put a little more. Okay. I just want everybody to see what you're doing. Yes. So here's what I'm going to do to make my life a little easier. So I'm going to dry it just a little more. This is extreme close-up. So now all I'm going to do is slice it almost like sashimi, just like very thin. And when you're cutting... Fish, you always want. I'm. You always want to cut it against the grain. It's very, very important. So the grain is going this way. You see, in this direction. So you want to cut opposite of it. And there's two reasons for that. One reason is because you want the you want the fibers to be you know as long as the piece. B. Um, otherwise, it's going to just be really stringy and not enjoyable in your mouth. So it's really, really important to go against the grain. That. So let me just get this little piece of. Okay. So. It doesn't have to be perfect. I like cutting a little bit almost like at an angle. I feel like the slice looks nice and I like the thickness of it. So we're gonna taste it first. Give you a little piece to taste. Mm. So I didn't salt this, to see. Mm. It's good. Butter. So it's, already, it's already a little salty. Woo! It's already mm. a little salty. We don't mm. need to salt mm. it, you know? Mm. Yeah. That is to die for. Yeah, it, is, it just like adds more flavor. You know, like salt is an enhan a flavor enhancer too, right? Acid is and salt is. It's beautiful. So it just helps, so. And you can cut this as thick or thin as you want. I prefer thinner, so I like eating my fish. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my plate, and we're gonna start plating it at the same time. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so we have this very pretty plate. Because I like pretty things. Yes. Okay. And we're just gonna like scatter them everywhere on the plate. And I actually remember being getting past doing these like two or three, you know, like, all summer long because they're 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 delicious the crowd pleaser and actually really showcases can showcase local not local sorry um local as well but seasonal products love that. so i love i love making um i really love making crudos so i'm just going against the green when i i felt like the slice was a little too long so i'm just switching side always going against the green that's beautiful. Does anything ever scare you? Like if you were told you have to do this in the kitchen and yes. it's just like, oh, 
for sure. That's I mean, listen, um, you know, as like I would think like in any profession, there's always you're always learning, right? So uh, there's always there's so many things I don't know that I'm continuously learning. Mm -hmm. um, there's some things that I'm more familiar with, and mm -hmm. other things that I'm a, little, I'm a little less familiar with. So yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's very intimidating sometimes, especially when you go on Top Chef and you know you have to know everything. Wow. <laughs> or at least wing it. So what are some things that scare you? If I said um, sure. do this. Um, manning a huge open flame, like, like a six foot, like just fire in general. Like I've worked grills, I've worked smokers, but like, you know, really comfortably, that's something I need a little more work on. Um, for sure. Those are definitely things I need a little more work on. And so, yeah, I mean, that's one of them anyways, but, um, yeah, we can't, we don't, we can't know everything. No. It's impossible. It and wouldn't it's... make life fun. <laughs> life is all about learning and making yes, mistakes. Yeah. God and knows. we make, you know what, we make, and it's all about making mistakes, like you said, for sure. So I'm going to cut all this half. Okay. And it doesn't have to, like, this is, you know, kind of like a plate however you see fit. It doesn't have to be cool against that green. Perfect. So meditative watching you. I'm mm -hmm. getting sleepy. <laughs> no. All right, so we're done with this half. I think it's going to be enough. Gorgeous. Perfect. I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off. All right, so we are good to go with this. Okay. It's going to be compost. Okay, I do have compost, everybody. <laughs> okay, I got to put the camera back up because yep. my arm is going to fall off. <laughs> All righty, so we're going to put this piece back in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. I'll do that. You can. Okay, great. You can leave that for me. Perfect. There, the camera is nice and angled. Wonderful. Oh. All right. So I'm just gonna get a little bowl. There you go. Put these green onions inside, and now actually we're gonna continue plating. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So we're gonna flip this. I'm gonna wash the table very well after. We're gonna, first, we're gonna do the salmon and then we'll do the tomato. So, all we've done here is, like I said, you just, you guys just saw me slice the, I keep saying salmon, but it's still head trout. Um, we have the salsa, which is um, brunoise of a cucumber, um, red onion, chives, roasted um, pistachios, um, white balsamic, a little bit of honey, olive oil. And that's it. So it's gonna be crunchy and oh, charred lemon. We can't forget the charred lemon. That's the biggest part. And so we can't. And so it's just about like playing with textures and having big bold flavors. And that's it. I wanted to make this dish really, you know, easy to make. I mean, if you're making it, you would make it for your, for your family this week. It would take what 20 minutes to make. So well, I feel like I was spoiled with you. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a quick dish, though. I feel spoiled. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to let you know. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of throw this everywhere on. Actually, the camera angle is perfect. I, your head yeah. work, and there's a little housefly buzzing around. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's real life. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah. That looks insane. Yeah, it's simple, simple. And oh, simple, simple, everybody. You know, having a top chef in your kitchen. <laughs> simple, simple. A little crudo. And yeah, I'm gonna just finish it with. It's nothing. To, to make it pop with these beautiful chives. They're so nice. We're just gonna not even use a scissors, scissors, just your hand. Oh, yeah. And just go everywhere. And you can use any herb you want. You could have used, I was thinking of maybe oregano, dill even would go really well. Uh, maybe marjoram would have gone well. It's whatever flavor profile you want. Herbs and fish go so well together. So you can really just play around. Well, it makes me feel as though, because I don't have a garden, and I do feel a bit bad about that, mm -hmm. and who knows, there is always time. I love that Metro has all of those wild pots yeah. there yeah, so the it rates. kind of acts as my pretend garden <laughs> for sure and they were also like not only did they have a lot actually variety but they were really nice oh, they were very good really nice. yeah exactly so this the last thing we're going to do is olive oil okay. just a little bit okay you don't scare me <laughs> i'm a big fan of using a lot of olive oil so me too. It's, a, it's a good fat me too there and maybe a little bit of, where is Tell it? Me. The salsa. Where did I put it? Oh, there. 
Yes, I could not yeah, you with all this really tasty liquid at the bottom, so this is not gonna hurt it at all. Ah. Gorgeous. Yeah. And so that's the first dish. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's gonna be a tasty one. And see, like, this, like the steelhead uh, trout is really good because it's not as fatty as salmon, and there's a lot of flavor in it. It's just, I love it. I use it a lot, actually. So, this is the dish. Woo! Yeah, so, <laughs> so, that's number one. Okay. And number two is going to be... Perfect. So it's a beautiful plate. Okay. And so, what we're going to do... I'm going to leave this. Maybe, I guess you can hold this for a second. Yes. So I don't want to fall. We're going to actually cut two things before we actually get to plating. Bread knife, please. Oh. Uh, did I put it in here? Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay. So, I mean, this is a big piece of bread, so I just want to cut them in pieces. Okay. Which we should say we had the bakery yes. also at Metro. Yes, exactly. And we got to choose beautiful yeah. baked bread, fresh, delivered. Yeah, yeah this is a really nice sourdough. I like sourdough. You can use any bread you want. I just like I wanted a dough that can absorb a dough, a bread that can absorb a lot of uh, liquid. So that's important to me. But did we we put the bread on the barbecue, right? Yeah. So you also probably want that bread that can handle the barbecue and yes. not kind of fall yeah, through the cracks. Exactly. And yeah, a little denser. Something a little denser. A little denser. All right. So we're not gonna use all of this, but we're gonna use some of it. So that's number one. So now we're, I'm gonna put this all on the plate. So perfect. Oh, that almost like a broken down crostini or like a panzanella. It's kind of a mix of gorgeous. I think this is good. And you smell that oh, yes. the garlic, but it's not too too. too I intense. promise you, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Okay, <laughs> great. All right, so um, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna get these tomatoes here. Okay, I'm gonna get the lemon just in case we want it, and we don't need that. Right, we can put the plate there. Yes. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna clear this up a little bit. So for the tomato salad, I really wanted to play on flavors. I'm sorry, on textures. Okay. So we have the crunchy bread. We're gonna have the really beautifully ripe heirloom tomatoes that are in season that we got at like a metro. They're gorgeous. We have also here other um, local cherry tomatoes, different colors that are that are nice and like fresh. And then we have these blistered other big saburama tomatoes that are like just packed with flavor. So. This is a simple salad, just focusing on tomatoes. So I'm gonna just cut them nicely, and I think tomatoes are really gorgeous. Gorgeous. In terms of, yeah, the way they look, right? Like their structure and everything. So I'm gonna just cut it. Chef Stelio taught me a beautiful, beautiful tomato dish. With oh, bread really? Crumbs and, yeah, it's tomato and bread, right? Woo! Oh. Can't go wrong. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave these whole actually. Okay. I think it's gonna look pretty. Yes. They're gorgeous. It's yeah. like a work of art. Yeah. So we'll just layer it on. Lovely. And I love that it's messy in the sense that it doesn't have to be, it looks unfussy, which is yeah. the way I like to cook. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, this is gonna be enough. So, let me, this one, I'm not happy with the position of that one. There and then we have these, and I'm just gonna kind of break it apart like that a little bit. Uh -huh. That kind of helps. And you have all that extra juice that also creates a lot of flavor. And of course, the roasted adds a different level of yeah. taste. It's not just a fresh tomato; it has exactly. that kind of charred feel to it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's this is a more of a messy plate, but it's but that's the way I like it. Yeah. There. And we're gonna actually go with some green onion. And then we're gonna put the vinaigrette right after. And we're gonna leave this actually ideally absorb just for a couple minutes so that what well, we're gonna toast and have a glass and a sip and then we're sure. gonna scuffle up. Perfect. So uh, the vinaigrette, let me just find it, which is right in the back of you. In the back of me. <laughs> Thank you. Where is that whisk? So I almost drank. <laughs> I almost had a sip without you, and I wanted a toast. I have to stop. <laughs> Keep it away. We're almost there. So <gasps> yeah, and it's this is gonna be one of those. So that's why 
it's gonna seep through into that bread and you yeah that's basically it it's gonna be really good there so that's done and lastly of course olive oil okay generous yeah there you go that's gonna be pretty and uh that that, that a little bit of flour the salt or kosher salt okay. kosher salt that's what we're gonna use We'll pretend it's fleur de sel. Yeah. Okay, you know something? I love kosher salt. Okay. Like it's, as long as it's a larger grain, like yes. it's a flakier grain that's not as not as intense in sodium. So. Yes. Out of the way. We don't really want that piece because it's not pretty. And yeah, we want that. Oh, are you, there you go. super particular from all your years of training about like, is, that, is that what I was doing? I, I <laughs> sense a little bit. I wasn't sure. I'm like, I yes. was in my head and trying to like, yes. you know, make it what it could be. Well, that's why you're a top chef because of that little extra moment. And these, I think well, I wanted to put these, I don't think this is enough. I the agree. Beans. I don't want to put more. It'll be too much. We can totally uh, um, eat them separately after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, this is it. I'm thinking, am I forgetting anything right now? I'm just thinking, I'll, no, this is it. Okay. So yeah. show that beautiful plate. So this is it. It's super summery, and it's almost a play like on a panzanella salad. So there's grilled sourdough with um, brushed garlic. There is some really ripe heirloom tomatoes, um, green onion, roasted tomatoes, and a sherry, um, like, kind of umami tomato-based vinaigrette. So it's super simple, and we want to eat this when the bread is kind of like a little droopy, exactly. Yeah, gotcha. and it's gonna go really well with a. With the steelhead truck. Okay. We're gonna, just keep, we're gonna keep, keep it, it off here. there. It's a oh, little hot. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe um, maybe there. Yeah. Because I want us to kind of eat a little strangely over here, you and I. Oh, got you. So that everybody can see our. It's almost like the butcher. The butcher yeah. is your table. Got you. I'm gonna just clean this. And we're gonna. You know, it's live. We gotta do what we gotta do. Absolutely. That's part of it. So I don't know if I could set up any other way. So we're like, gonna do it like that. That's Perfect. your plate, my plate. See, we're your glass, my glass. <laughs> yes. Done. Okay. Fork. Fork. Perfect. Okay. I'm so excited. And maybe we'll want lemon on the tomato. We're not sure yet. Okay. It is there just in case. Let's do a toast. Yes. A toast to Chef Aisha Kolachi. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining me and my Metro for this beautiful cooking live. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thank Thanks you. for having me. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm digging in. Okay. Okay. So to hell with plates. Yeah, absolutely. It's on a plate. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah? Mm. Jaw dropping, spectacular. My God. No. That is tasty. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry. Not overly salty. I, it, you know? It's perfection. Yeah, I feel like you use a little more salt, but then when you have the capers, mm. it balances out nicely. Mmm. 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 That's tasty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. Can I go in? Mm hmm Go in. I love we're eating en famille comme ça. Mm. Me too. Mm. Mm. I'm going to get mm. some sherry mm. vinegar. Yeah. Mm. And it's definitely enough garlic. I'm mm. <laughs> it's, it's enough. I feel you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's tasty. Mm. This mm. This combination mm. is nuts. Mm. Mm. Okay, everybody, I promise you I'm going to get the recipes from Chef. <laughs> I will post them. Thank you for joining us. It was a majorly dynamic special <laughs> live today. We had a really lot fun. of movement. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, everybody. I think I have tomato dripping down. <laughs> um, thank you, Metro. Thank you.